Hi, Tony Barry, Venice, California. This video goes out to Councilman Mike Bonham. This homeless man has lost all his worldly belongings to LAPD and the sanitation department, and he needs to get all his stuff back. He's claiming he wants to kill himself, even suicide by cop. He leaves his email in this uh, video. So look at the video and try to help this man. I'll be watching. Here's the video. This is okay, sir. Uh, well, you need to be quiet while we're doing this. Okay, sir. Uh, what's your name? What's your, what's your name, sir? Hi. Uh, you can call me Mickey for now. And uh, you uh, have a story to tell Mike Bonham, the councilman? Mike Bonham. Yes, sir. Um, I'm going to give you a brief history of who and what I am, just so that you know I'm not just uh, some random wing nut, as they might say. I don't do chemicals. I don't drink. Um, I've done consulting for military, law enforcement, entertainment companies, and uh, many things in my life. I came up from poverty in a coal mining camp, and raised by good mountain people in Kentucky. And uh, people who you've probably heard of, they ran UAW, they brought Toyota in the country, all this kind of stuff. Nonetheless, Lord blessed me with uh, many great things. I lost my loved ones, some loved ones, and a great huge amount of money in the World Trade Center incident. That's hard, but I tried to come back up and I've done many things since, mostly in entertainment and working more with people. I was actually in 2006, I spent New Christmas that year with about 100 police officers doing photos. I was doing business with Senator Kyle's daughter-in-law, he was a Republican whip. I was trying to help Tom Horn run for governor and I spent New Year's Eve with the assistant DA of Maricopa okay, County. What, what happened to you? Now what happened to me, six months after that, I was attacked and left for dead for fighting tweakers. I'm here blind and homeless six years with no government help, but I have taken everything I've learned from this on the street here and trying to help kids, work with kids with nothing but panhandling at my disposal. Just today, what happened? Yesterday, the day before Thanksgiving, they came through with the cleaning crew and they have a whole new campaign now, which 2006 was outlawed by a federal court judge, the Los Angeles Legal Foundation, as I understand. Um, and they came and told us they were done cleaning. So I unfortunately have to keep my things on a hill like a lot of other people, but I keep myself very nice, military packed, you know exactly it belongs to someone. I had to work for months, months, to get money from a little GoFundMe account, to get a new tent, a new winter set of winter clothes, um, new sleeping bag. I got to use one day, my tent, two weeks old, Coleman stove. All of this, my meds, my journals, everything was taken. They came back after they said they were done. I moved my things, and one of my kids came running up the hill here to uh, where I have coffee every morning at Collage Cafe. And um, told me, and I went running down there, and they had police officers guarding the truck, and my things were sitting right there, would not let me talk to the guy, and I said, you made a mistake, and your guy lied to me and said you were done. Well, not only is it, I understand it's illegal to take things unless there is an arrest or some other thing, this is clearly not an infestation problem. Double wrapped in hazmat bags and two suitcases, I don't see what the harm was. So. Either way, uh, this is out of hand. This is a whole new Nazi way of doing things that they didn't do before because they doubled back and they lied to a bunch of people, took a lot of his innocent people. And it's raining this weekend, Thanksgiving Day. I've done my share of my donations to this country, who I still love and believe in, even though I believe that we're up against. And the cops were of Pacific Division? Beg your pardon? The cops were Pacific Division? Yes, this is who Pacific. Are they? I don't know the names. I'm 90% blind from my home invasion. By the way, I get no help while they, while they pay tweakers. So you can see your stuff on the truck? Oh yeah, it's right there on the white truck and they wouldn't let me. 10 feet away, I tried to get past the cop and he grabbed me by the arm, pulled me over. No cameras, nobody objected to nothing. I said, that's assault, isn't it? You know? So listen, I've got nine warrants for my arrest on tickets for which judges throw out when they show up. I was arrested twice when I was waiting for Santana to come and pick me. I have emails and photos to prove this. Okay, this, but I want to know one. Where, where did you stop? Uh, this is a bigger part. It's, my stuff right now is in the supposedly in the sanitation department downtown, and I have to pay a fine, and I have no way to move this stuff. This is absolutely destructive. It's harmful to my health with a hernia, crushed eye, 
I've got all these medical needs, and I can't get a dollar. Well, Mike Bonham is the councilman of uh, the Phillips cops? Beach. The councilman. Now, and he I, claims he claims he wants to help the homeless. I have a, I have good friends. Let me not get this straight. I love cops. I have a good, strong family background of police officers. We've got some awesome policemen out here. I can name them. I used to work with uh, Contreras. She's downtown. Go tell you the good cops. They shift around, and I want to know who's behind it and why there's. Yeah, but we need we need right now to get your stuff back. Yeah, I need to get my stuff back. I'm I'm, I'm hurting right now. Man. So do, uh, do you have an email? I have email. It is Mikola Vision, M I K O L A V I S I O N at Yahoo. My GoFundMe account is now empty and taken. It's GoFundMe.com slash Mikola Vision. If you Google Mikola Vision, you'll see that I have music videos I did, homeless with dumpster dive gear. I've done, done photography for many people like Ice T, other celebrities. Okay, back, back to the point. How long do they keep your stuff for? I don't know. It's like I, they said they said they would leave a number of the things that they took, but they didn't. They gave me a number to call and said they would call back. They did. I called them four times. It's right here on my phone. And nobody answered and nobody called me back. And now I'm stuck here on Thanksgiving Day, wondering if I'm going to be out rain. And if I don't have a tent over my head, the gangsters want me because I'm helping you guys do the job. Something's not right. Okay, so your name, sir? My name. I'm going to keep my personal name. All right, all right. Just call me Mickey for now. That's fine. I'm a hillbilly from Kentucky. My actually first name is Michael. You've heard of my family. I'll tell you later. Okay. Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to get this tape to Mike Bonham, the councilman, yes. and we're going to see if he can help you because he claims he's, uh, he's for the homeless out here. He claims he's raising money for you guys. Uh, so we're going to basically... Uh, well, even blind and uh, handicapped, I still have much offer in the way of services. I used to make 1500 bucks a day just giving talks. And teach you okay, perfect, man. If I can help. Thank you, sir.